Welcome to the Cog's Advent Daily Thought. And, you know, it's a little bit like an Advent calendar, isn't it? That somebody each day is going to just give you a, a, a sort of short um, thought uh, during the period of Advent. <clears throat> and, you know, it reminds me of uh, the old Channel 4 comedy, Father Ted. I don't know who remembers that. But there was um, a time when Father Dougal, who was none too bright, opens the Advent calendar window and says, What's this all about, Ted? Two folk looking into a trough of straw with a baby in it? What on earth is that all about? But hopefully uh, this talk will be a little bit more illuminating. So in order to show you how serious I am, I'm going to take off this uh, somewhat silly hat. <clears throat> and I'm reading this morning is uh, Isaiah 61. Uh, but rather than read from Isaiah, I'm actually going to read uh, Luke 4, verses 6, 16 to 19. And this is where Jesus actually quotes from Isaiah. And it's his kind of manifesto. You know, Jesus is saying, well, and this is what the prophet wrote, but I'm actually going to fulfill that prophecy. I'm the fulfillment of it. And it goes like this, <clears throat> verse 16. Jesus went to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, as was his custom, and he stood up to read. And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him, and unrolling it, he found a place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and to recover sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. And what an incredible message that is. What a manifesto. And you know, it's so relevant this year, isn't it? At the end of 2020, when the whole world has been so impacted by the COVID virus. In the Isaiah version, it's not mentioned in Luke, but in the Isaiah version, Jesus says, He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. You know, Jesus proclaims good news for the poor, the downhearted, the disadvantaged, the unemployed, the aliens, asylum seekers, the sick, the disabled and the bereaved. And then Jesus also has come to set the prisoners free and in fact, he comes not just to set people free from physical prisons, but he's come to set us all free from, you know, the sense that we're imprisoned by this corrupt, suffering world. And then finally, he comes to give sight to the blind. And there is a sense there, it's not just about physical healing, but a sense in which for those who are blind spiritually, you know, that, that he shines the light of Christ in a literally sick world. And I love it in Isaiah 60 verses 1 to 3 where it says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you, and nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. So what does this mean to us Christians here in Crookhorn at Christmas? Well, I have a little prop here. I don't know if it's going to work. It's always a bit worrying when you start using props, particularly candles. But I'm going to attempt to light the candle. And you can see the light now uh, shining out there. You know, we need to ask the Lord to give us the light of Christ, to ignite the flame in us so we bring light to our community this Christmas. You know, I love that expression, let's light up crookhorn. Um, you know, what a lovely metaphor that is. And maybe as we shop in the co-op or even Asda, that we can share the light with others, that we display something of the meaning of Christmas in our schools, colleges and workplaces. Or that we illuminate conversation with, with those when we're out walking. You know, whether you've got a dog or not. If you've got a dog, it's so easy to get talking to strangers about the dog. 
But anyway, may God bless you today and may his light be with you through this time of Christmas. Amen.